Okay, so your underlying energy is the Emperor. Also underneath that is the Two of Cups. So this is about taking action on a relationship, okay? Uh, taking control of a situation. I think you control yourself mostly, but most of the, most importantly, I think this is about putting in your two cents. You know, taking action on a relationship. You know, just kind of doing what needs to be done. Uh, kind of like acting, pretty much. Because I think at this point, there was a high priestess, right? Mm. The high priestess talks about passivity. You know, not taking action, not doing not doing anything, just kind of being passive, waiting for things to come in, waiting for messages to come in. Usually that's the intuition to, you know, guiding you. It's following your gut as well. I feel like that for a lot of you guys, you guys may have been following your gut. But I also feel like this is asking you guys to, um, I don't know if it's asking you guys to exactly move on from, the, from what's been lost. But I think most importantly, I think you guys... It's time to kind of come outside of, of, of a period of, re, of of pause. I think in order for things to progress, there has to be action taken. Because you have the Ace of Wands in your present, and that's with the Hermit. So whatever is going on here, I think there needs to be some active healing. Um, instead of just kind of no communication, no re outreach, nothing. Now you have the Lovers here that's coming up in the past. Okay, which is, is just wonderful. It's a beautiful card. It talks about a profound connection. Um, for some of you guys, I think this has to do with, you know, what you love, right? This could be work. This could be a person. Um, but I do see this love as something profound. Um, something that, you know, that definitely makes your heart sing. But, you know, you move on to the Ace of Wands, which would be great, right? Some of this could be rekindling an old flame. Maybe this is about an old connection between you and another person, right? Someone that you already know. This Ace of Wands could also indicate that this is a spark of something new, right? A new beginning in a direction that definitely calls for action to be taken. But you got the Four of Swords crossing that and in your environment, the Hermit. So these are two cards that actually do have nothing to do with anybody else but yourself. Nothing bad about that, right? Because sometimes you just need to rest. Sometimes you need to heal. But it looks like with the, with the Four of Swords crossing that, it's like, okay, there's this restless energy or either this restless energy or prolonged healing way longer than it needs to because the hermit talks about you know with soul searching and you know that you know all that goodness like soul searching and you know disconnecting from the world not really being a part of everything just kind of being in your own environment right just healing yourself so spiritual card is very empowering but the part where it gets disempowering is when you stay away for too long when you start to separate yourself from the world and don't involve yourself and it looks like you have found somebody of great you know that you enjoy that you like maybe this is something that you love and it's kind of, i don't know what happens but some of you guys just kind of distance yourself now, I think the situation has a lot to do with the past. Perhaps there was a situation before where, you know, you definitely felt some sort of connection before, but something happened where you lost everything. Maybe you lost something or something was missing with the, with the, with the relationship. Hmm. Interesting. It has a chalice and a knife and an apple in the very background. But anyway. Um... Perhaps you guys have lost something of great value to you, right? So neither you guys felt like you didn't have the support that you were looking for, or something you know something was missing in the relationship, and that kind of scared you, perhaps, because I think, or that perhaps caused you guys to kind of retract, because I think when you met someone new or you interacted with somebody new, you know, you only could see the pain that you were still feeling. And the high priestess is all about, you know, trusting your intuition, going with, you know, with your heart. Even, even though that is passive, it's crossed by the four of swords. So it's like you're not resting or either you are resting or you're not engaging with someone, you know, because the seven of cups can indicate offers and new, you know, offers fantasy, you know, dreams, you know, dreaming of something new, right? This is a good thing. But I kind of get this feeling that... You know, there's resistance with this. It's like taking control and there's, you know, taking control back into your life and not letting a relationship kind of run you away. Because it seems like for, to me that there is truly nothing wrong. 
But at the same time, I think somebody may have either disappeared or maybe there was some distance between you and a person for a little bit. And now it's like reconnection. But there's no three of cups, so I can't really say it's reconnection. But I definitely feel like maybe there's a temporary pause that's definitely coming to an end. But your advice is asking you to shift your focus away from the loss, from the pain, from the things that are gone, to what you have still, which is the two cups, which is the connection. Because I think there was a period of time where you were waiting and now there's no need to wait. I think it's just because you're comfortable being away from everything for so long that, yeah, like, you don't want to come out. You know, you don't want to interact with people. Four of Swords, taking a rest. And the Seven of Cups is the confusing card to have here in the future, but it's like it's saying you have a lot of options, you have a lot of options, you have a lot of choices to make. Well, you have a lot of choices um, to choose from, a lot of options to choose from. It's up to you whatever you do with those things, you know? No one's it's not going to tell you how do you live your life and how do you decide to live about have your, how do you decide to live your life period, um, but I do feel like you have a choice that you have to make. Um, a certain the heart's desire that you have to you have to decide from. You know, and I don't know if you guys have been taking time out to really think about whether or not this is something you want to pursue or make happen or what, but this relationship seems to be fine. Right? It just seems like there's some things that it's hard to get over from the last relationship or maybe the last time you were with this person. Because the Ten of Pent ten of Wands is coming up in your outcome. And this is talking about dropping a burden and letting this go. And I feel like that has a lot to do with whatever this whatever this Five of Swords, Five of Cups is for you. Loss of some sort or maybe some sort of... Something happened between you and this connection that you just feel like it's hard to recover from, but you can recover. The her Hermit and the Four of Swords are both healing energies, but I don't feel like they're used in very healing ways. But you can use these as healing ways, you know? By giving yourself, you know, yes, the time, but to understand that there are greater things out there rather than focusing on what you've lost. You can be happy, but it takes action to do so. It's going to require you to implement what you've learned from these from these losses to be able to manifest and have a wonderful and stable relationship. But first you have to drop the burden that you've been carrying from the last relationships. Clean it up. It's, it's talking about clearing the air, cleaning away and throwing out, you know, throwing out the old stuff that are keeping up the space that you need to create something new. You know, it's time to make space for goodness to happen and finally let go of the old so that way you can be able to have a new. The Hermit will help you do that because it will look straight into your heart. Yeah. And it will restore faith. But you have to forgive the situation, forgive yourself, forgive the other person, and not to condone the action, but to free yourself from the attachments of the old stuff that hurt you. Free yourself from the pains and the regrets and the, the shame and the guilt or whatever. It's time to set yourself free, guys. And how you do that is by cleaning house, using the hermit and cleaning the insides, right? By, you know... Reestablishing new love with it with yourself, love, compassion, and caring within yourself. Remember, forgiveness is not about condoning the action, but it's to free you and to allow you to create something new. And it's finally dropping this burden and going after with your true desires, right? Going after a new passion. Separation. See, I was saying that. I think this is temporary separation. Time apart from your time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I don't know if you or the other person disappeared or took a break, decided to take a break or something like that, but I think this is, you know, you can start this relationship back over again. You just have to reach out and communicate. It's all up to you. But the separation is saying that there was some time apart, and I think it's because you needed the time to think, but I think you also need the time to heal, and that's why there's like a, you know, a hiatus of this. If somebody's on a hiatus or something like that. Somebody definitely stepped away, but it's like... You know, 
it's time to heal yourself instead of hiding from the pain of hiding for the potential of things to be destroyed and i think for something something happened with this relationship here something that you that hurts you with this relationship but i feel like you can overcome it and i feel like you know you can overcome it it's just hard to right now because it's been it's something that's very precious to you but trust me guys I think the time away from your partner is definitely needed to heal, but I think it's important to heal instead of hiding out. Okay? Because you have a choice to make. Is this is a relationship that you truly want to pursue, or is this something that you can't, you know? 